Okay, folks, the excitement continues. We are a group of little kids on our way to defeat Booth, one of the followers of Evil Lord Dark Atomic Cruise. You may have noticed that we are now Aquatalians instead of prosperous wise men. Well, he's still a wise man. Alright, Dan, you're not an Aquatalian. Sorry, you're gonna have to stay behind on our next uh, trip. Our next class outing. Three warriors. Let's go up here because there's nowhere else to go. Let's. Let's fight the gold moes, see what happens. I mean, they're gold moes. I have to assume from their looks that they have lots of hit points but aren't really that damaging. I eliminated a gold moe. Yeah, see, seven hit points of damage from gold moe. I'm on a holy quest to eliminate all gold moes. Gold Larrys and Gold Curlies will be spared, but Gold Champs, Joes, and Curly Gold Doritos are, you know, the enemies of all that is good and just. There's a treasure chest that I missed. Let's go get that. Gas lugs. Run away. I fear their powerful farts. Go ba bumbo and taco world. Those are vampires and um, some kind of recolored zombie whose names I didn't know. The recolored zombies whose names I didn't know um, were what the summoner summoned before, so um, I assume that they're probably pretty weak. Usually enemies that can summon other enemies don't summon enemies that are even more powerful than they are because that would make them ridiculous. More treasure. Fire armor! Let's equip fire armor on someone, because I'm anxious for the armor that I bought two minutes ago to be out of date. It, yeah, it's better. Drops the speed a little, but you know, whatever. Gusts? Why are they called gusts? Explain that to me, gentle viewer. Why are those things called gusts? Did I want to come here? Probably not. Oh, wait a minute, I think this might lead to that other treasure chest. Or maybe it doesn't lead to that other treasure chest. Maybe I'm completely lost. I think I'm just completely lost. I'm thinking I didn't want to go there. So let's stick with up here. Wah, wah, wah. Alright, Booth, I'm getting close. Thanks to my cheating with save states, I fell for your little trap to warp me back and, um... Whoa, they killed Cody. You bastards. Well, I probably should have stuck around and gotten revenge, but, uh... Who has life magic? One of you guys has life magic of some kind, don't you? I could have sworn one of you guys could cast, uh... Oh, wait. He's alive at one hit point. Because this game doesn't want you to be sad when your friends die. So it brings him back to life for you, as long as you can get it a battle in one piece. Wait, what? Second floor, third floor. Ah, yes, I see the logic now. And once again, because uh, I'm a big sneaky cheater, I'm going to save state before I uh, go up here and find out that it works me someplace I don't want to go. I work me here. Okay. What's up here? Three gusts. Run away. Wow, it's pirate ghosts. Vambats. Vampires. 
Ooh, I'm not going to fight you again, please. I want to find the rest of the treasure first. Oh, and here's a good place to jump off this edge and land out here and get this treasure and a red hood. Tina, you are going to be our little Miss Red Riding Hood. It gives you better luck, so I guess it's kind of good to have, but I wonder if I can find enemies out here. I don't know if you can find enemies or not, but you can certainly make the music awesome. Alright, let's go back. Yeah. In theory, I could head for the town, get all the magic back and stuff, but, you know, I'm nowhere near as intimidated by Booth as I am by his armies of dust zombies. And the summoners! The summoners were the ones who managed to kill Cody somehow. So they probably got, like, awesome spells that I could, like, I don't know. I'm curious now how they managed to do that. Vanish. Oh, Vanish must be, like, death. And it's, you know, now that I think about it, one of my characters has vanished, and I'm pretty sure that, um, it's one of those spells that never, ever, 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 ever works if you cast it, but has a pretty high success rate against you. That's a pretty typical RPG death spell crap. I'll run away from the summoners before they vanish us. Okay, Booth, I... If I haven't cleared out all the treasure, I've cleared out almost all of it, so, um... It's time for you to die, my little friend who kind of looks like a... You're supposed to be a green-skinned kid wearing a baseball cap or something. I'm curious what he actually looks like. I kind of vaguely remember what Gara looks like. Uh, and Hamakus himself. I have no idea what Booth or, um... Whatever the other... He will follow War Darkness Hollow Cruise look like. But um, I'm on a pace to find out before this video is through, so. Ooh. I don't know how I'm meant to get to that treasure. Maybe I wasn't supposed to. Um... Yeah, okay, there's a way to get over here. There we go. Thank you, emulator, for allowing me to cheat. 10,000 gold. I suppose that was worth getting. I haven't really been stuck for gold since I went on my crazy over-leveling thing. So we do have just enough time left to get to Booth, not to defeat him. Booth will get his own video, which is appropriate, because he is an evil lord follower, Darkness Hunter Cruise guy, and uh, therefore it's supposed to be a big whooping deal to defeat him. So it would be a shame if uh, he got whooped up on in less than one video's time. And once again, I'd like to state for the record, I am not positive you even have to come here. I'm sure that at some point the, the, the story would stop if you uh, didn't come here and have to come here, but I really just came here because an old guy asked me to um, avenge his son and his wife who were defeated. And even the nearby town that's devastated was devastated by a different follower of Evil Lord Darkness Homicry, so... But here we are, the fourth floor, the night's on Broadway, and he looks like a little green-skinned kid wearing a white mage's outfit. Finally you come, but this place will only be your grave. Oh. Wow, Booth's actually pretty awesome. Okay, folks, when we come back, we're going to fight Booth. He's like some kind of freaking psychopath that's just diving at you from the beginning. Uh, see you then.